This is bond number nine, the cent of piece still found at this day for $370 at fancy department stores. This is Javinci Blue Label for $40. Both of these have a vetiver cedar wood ending. Both of these are citrus, sporty, light, fresh fragrances. This one uses black curant. It's a little bit sweeter, a little bit nicer smelling. But for that variation of price, $40 versus $400, which one do you want? In this video, we're going to show you eight different titles. This was number one that smell expensive. Fragrances that are affordable, that smell expensive. And we started with this Givenchy. And other titles that you're going to see in this video include Guess and John Barbados. And on the expensive side, you're going to see fragrance titles such as Creed and Bond Number no. 9 and even Dior Sauvage. So let's get ready to rumble. This Mont Blanc Individuel has Bois de Santal in its base. What does that translate to? That means sandalwood. Bois de Santal is also in this fragrance called Creed Santal. These two fragrances smell identical. One of them is over $400. One of them is only $20. The link's provided down below. Mont Blanc Individuel, yes, it is synthetic and cheap, but it garners you some of the most strongest compliments on this entire list for the price and the value. Lasting long, maybe four hours only, but very good smell for those four hours and for the price value. Coming up next is the hidden gem of the day by Givenchy, and it smells like Dior Sauvage Parfum, the 2019 version. Can you guess what Givenchy hidden gem I'm going to talk about? The hidden gem of the day is Givenchy Pie Neo, which has tobacco vanilla in its base. Pie Neo has many, many similar scents, uh, fragrance notes as this Dior Sauvage Parfum, the $150 bottle. Pie Neo is still $99 on hard to find eBay sites because this is a discontinued rare find actually. They don't make it anymore. Pie Neo dries down in the first two hours. Very similar to this. Very similar to Pop Fun by Dior Sauvage, the newer version. And after a while, the Pie Neo's vanilla, tobacco vanilla comes out. After a while, means two, three hours later, it turns in more powdery than this. While this Dior Sauvage always keeps its bloodline, its Sauvage DNA. But like I said in the beginning, first two hours, they are very identical. Pie Neo came out in 2008, same year as Terry Mugler's Pure Coffee. Also, the famous One Million came out in 2008. This does give decent enough performance but it is hard to find. Compare it again to the Dior Sauvage. Both have citrus and mandarins in it and the top notes. It also has a vanilla incense C type base notes. This one does as well as this one does. And don't forget to support your channel. You become a member for $14.95. You get these cool little scent sprayers each month or you can get three of them for $34.95. Become a member, click down below. Women find this fragrance irresistible. It's called Versace Perome Signature Edition. It came out in 2008. Why do they find it so irresistible? Because it's super clean and fresh and fun. So you think about sweet, spicy, soft, aquatic. The scent actually only lasts five hours, but when you spray it on clothes, it's one of those fragrances that can last upwards of 12 and 15 hours on clothes, maybe even till the next morning. Versace Per Homme is linear. What does that mean? It means what you smell in the beginning of the fragrance is what you will smell at the end of the fragrance, five hours or 10 hours later, depending if you spray it on your clothes. Average internet price is $40, and people say it smells like Chanel Allure Homme Sport. Now there's also an Homme Sport Extreme. Homme Sport came out around 2006, and Homme Sport Extreme came out in 2012. Now $40 versus $130 to $150, depending what size you buy. This smells very similar to that, but the, this has a Tonka bean in the dry down. You can smell it right away where the Versace doesn't, but hand to hand and blind smelling, you really can't tell the difference until you smell that sweet undertone of the delicious vanilla note or Tonka bean, depending which one you get. And if you want something that's very, very close to that, try this Norwegian perfumer Gear Nest. The fragrance is simply called Gear. I believe it's a Eau de Parfum and it's 3.4 ounces, it performs better than most Bond number no. nines. It, it's just super long lasting and smells very, very close to this. Coming in at about $50, the link's down below if you wanna try this out. Now, what? how did I find out about this? Because you, the viewer, told me about it way back a few months ago, and finally I found one. It's kind of hard to find. It's called Gear Ness. And that's what my point is, is that if you comment down below on whatever the question is of the video, it helps others smell better for less and find cool hidden gems like this. 
and this is very crisp and it's probably much better for colder weather but again it lasts long perfume aficionados tear this apart they try to judge it some of them love it some of them hate it i don't know why but it's one of those fragrances that just sparks an emotional accord with people and then if you just want to smell like chanel or your own on the cheap simply get maserati pure code about 25 bucks hello and welcome if you're new here my name is christian o helping you smell better for less click on playlist if you'd like to see more similar content to this i have a question for you today what similar scent cheaper do you know a good designer brand name that smells like an expensive fragrance comment down below let's start a new list Another expensive smelling affordable fragrance is John Barbados Artisan Blue. It's got very unique composition with florals and orange and powdery notes of iris and it just smells very good. It's got a melon cucumber aroma coming out from the C-H-A-Y-O-T-E, coyote formula that's in here. It smells like Tom Ford Mandarino di Amalfi. Tom Ford Mandarino di Amalfi costs about $350 for a full size bottle. Whereas this is only $35, the links are in the description. And it lasts just as long as the Tom Ford, if not longer. Which is to say, approximately four to six hours, to be quite honest with you. But yet, still a great blue fragrance. John Barbados has another one called Artisan Pure, which is a white bottle. That's very luxurious too. And it does smell expensive. And these are both perfect for hot, warmer weather also. Next up, let's go with this big banger here. It's called... Maison Francis Coctigian Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a nice, fresh smelling fragrance and one that smells expensive like that, that's cheap. You could get Ariana Grande. And it smells very similar to this, but it's more girly-like, more flirty, more fresh. This one's more elegant. Baccarat Rouge 540, another one that smells like it. It's only about $100. Now this, this Ariana Grande is about 30 bucks. This is called Instant Crush by Mancera, and it gives you the same similar style note composition as that. You can smell it right away, whereas on that one, for me, it takes a while for it to envelop, so to speak. The Mancera Instant Crush has way more zing, a little bit more spices to it, but it still gives you like the same thing that you are smelling just with those extra zing to it. And a new one that I really like is called Forever Absolute because this one, they give you two bottles for like 50 bucks and it looks like that bottle and it's a direct clone of Baccarat Rouge 540 and it lasts a really long time and smells really good. I really highly recommend Forever Absolute. The links are in the description. In the last video, people were commenting down in the comments below about Guess 1981, the Los Angeles edition, which has a nice sweet plum note mixed with ambroxan, and it's got ginger and mint. And this whole composition, amazingly, for $25, lasts for seven or eight hours. And what you get is a smelling similar to, it smells similar to $98 Versace Eros. Versace Eros has green apple instead of the ginger that this has. It has mint and geranium, this has mint and geranium. Both very good. Versace Eros was released in 2013, if you didn't know. And this Guess 1981 was recently released. I believe it's 2018. Don't mark my word on that one. Projection is surprising at two hours. Price is phenomenal. It does have a little bit of pepper in it as well. Mixed in with some sandalwood. It's kind of powdery and just does a great job. Thank you to those guys who were commenting about it in the last video. I appreciate you. And next up... This is John Barbados Dark Rebel Rider 2016. If you know that it smells like a famous fragrance, comment down below. Right now, I'm just gonna tell you it smells slightly like its brother Dark Rebel. This is called Rider. It's a nice soft leather jacket it has on it. Dark Rebel Rider is classified as a leather fragrance, whereas Dark Rebel is classified as a woody oriental. Dark Rebel came out in 2015, this one, Came out in 2016. Both of them are very affordable and smell expensive. This one is woody floral as well. Both are designed from Rodriguez Flores Rue, a designer of both of the Dark Rebel series from John Barbados. This is a badass fragrance that just makes you feel mysterious, boozy, leathery tobacco smell. Impressive. Right when you spray it, it blasts you with that, that boozy smell. So when would you wear this? Probably at nighttime. 
and maybe on a date night it might be something you buy for yourself because you like that smell that dark note smell but that sweet touches of florals are in there in a moment i'm going to show you a great fragrance for late summer early fall for cooler weather for those guys in the cooler weather states but first let me show you what i've been nailing i've been demolishing this patron de nuit it's a fragrance from south africa from a company called essenza and it's very authentic for 70 dollars however smell of creed aventus and what do you mean by authentic right off the bat it smells just like it you don't have the bite it's just fine like organic ingredients right off the bat so smooth and nice a lovely fragrance re-endition of creed aventus i just love this fragrance and i wear it all the time look how much i've worn it so it's a way to save money if you like to wearing that creed aventus style note structure for fall and summertime late summer you want to smell like this terry d hermes eau intense vetiver which is probably in the $70 range for 3.4 ounces or higher. If you go to the department stores, it's well over $100 for this Hermes Eau Vetiver. Something that has a lot of similar notes and can smell side by side to it is called Edition Noir, Pacha by Cartier. Pacha Edition Noir, it's a red bottle. Don't forget, YouTube wants you to watch this video right here. I want you to watch this one. I love you guys, have a great week.